गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी न्यू लेसन साउंड ओके इट इज़ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक इन दिस वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी फर्स्ट द इंट्रोडक्शन देन वी विल गो स्लोली फॉर द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ साउंड एंड प्रोपोगेशन ऑफ साउंड ओके सो इन प्रीवियस क्लासेज यू हैव स्टडीड अबाउट साउंड वॉट इज साउंड ओके इन आवर नेचर यू कैन हियर मेनी वॉइस मेनी साउंड यू कैन हियर ना ऑल्सो यू कैन हियर वॉट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट ओके सो वॉट इज दिस दिस इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स ऑफ एनर्जी यू हैव स्टडीड यू हैव स्टडीड लाइट एनर्जी साउंड एनर्जी मैकेनिकल एनर्जी मेनी एनर्जीज यू हैव स्टडीड ओके इन दैट वन फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी इज द साउंड एनर्जी विच यू आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इन दिस लेसन ऑल द थिंग्स अबाउट द साउंड यू आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इन दिस लेसन सो फर्स्ट यू सी अबाउट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ साउंड सो नाउ इफ यू विल एट मॉर्निंग इफ यू विल गो आउट ऑफ योर हाउस वॉट यू कैन सी यू कैन हियर डिफरेंट साउंड्स ऑफ बर्ड्स ओके मेनी साउंड्स यू कैन हियर सो वॉट हैपन्स वॉट इज दैट दैर इज इट इज समथिंग दैट रीच इज अवर इयर ओके इन लाइट वॉट इट वॉज इट इज वॉज अ फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी विच एनेबल्स अस to see the objects similarly here what is sound sound is a form of energy which enables us to hear okay which enables us our uh, enables us our ears to hear the sound that is called as uh, sound okay so in this sound how the sound is produced have you ever thought there are many musical instruments many things are there which can produce sound okay in your house also there are utensils vessels are there it can it also produces sound our vocal cords also produces sound okay if anything fall down then also you can hear the sound of the object falling down okay so all the these things produce sound so how it is produced what happens actually uh, that all you are going to study in this lesson you can see here sound it is a form of energy which enables us to hear now first we will to see in today's video we are going to see just the introduction of sound okay so what it is how it is produced it is produced by a striking of tuning fork what is tuning fork now it is a it is a u shaped okay if you will see this tuning fork it is u shaped with a handle okay and it is made up of metal totally it is a one piece made up of metal like this the shape is shown here it is totally made up of metal it has a handle and it has two arms okay and this arms are called as prongs this two arms are called as prongs of tuning fork and this part is called the stem of tuning fork okay this uh, object is used to produce the vibrations Okay, uh, for vibrating, if you want to produce vibration, this tuning fork is used. And because of this vibration, what happens? It uh, uh, when you strike, what you have to do? You have to take the tuning fork in your hand. You have to take a rubber uh, pad, and in that you have to strike it. When you will strike, what happens? Uh, there is a vibration in the prongs. Okay, and when the prongs will vibrate, that time what happens? it will produces vibration the uh, tuning fork is used for producing the vibrations and also what happens it produces a small sound when you take it closely to uh, your ears you can hear the vibrating sound okay so uh, tuning fork is used by plucking a string a stretched a string if you know now uh, violins guitars all have a stretched string okay but in guitar what happens when you will pluck the string of the guitar that time you can see that the string vibrates and when the string vibrates it produces the sound okay then flicking thin rulers this you all have done okay you all have thin rulers if you will keep the ruler on the table half on the table half outside the table okay and if you will flick uh, flick the scale what happens it will start vibrating and this vibrations produces the sound you can hear the sound of such vibrations okay one more uh, most important th thing that you all are missing is your school bell okay when the you also you can also hear the school bell ringing when the school bell rings what happens you are able to hear the sound okay so the school bell is actually 
outside it is ringing outside somewhere but each classes each student can hear the sound so have you ever think how it reaches to uh, everyone's ear okay there is something that makes the sound to reach to our ear that you are going to study in next video that is propagation of sound so in this all cases you can see these are used to, to produce the sound the sound is produced by tuning fork stretched rubber string then flicking the thin rulers all these so common thing was there what was the common thing among all these things in all these things we found that all these things were vibrating have you seen this tuning fork was vibrating rubber string was vibrating flicking the thin ruler it was also vibrating a simple example i can tell you take a rubber band in your two fingers and just flick it you can see the rubber band vibrates and it also produces the sound so uh, from this what conclusion you can get you can conclude that vibrating bodies produces sound what produces sound very important this is vibrating bodies produces the sound one more example just you can do i will give you a uh, one minute in your home now you can do try just try it now just uh, keep your fingers here okay and try to talk or try to make some voices just keep your fingers over here on the throat and just uh, try to speak okay you can hear here also at the vocal cord you can hear the vibrations okay means here also the vibrations are produced while talking if you touch your throat you can feel the vibrations and here also you can understand that vibrating bodies produces sound understood this concept now uh, i will ex i will explain you about the tuning fork what is tuning fork actually it is uh, u shaped single metal piece with an handle it has uh, arms are called as prongs stem is uh, this handle is called as stem okay and for what purpose it is used this is very important you should know this uh, question can also come about the tuning fork okay you have to explain diagram explain and for what purpose it is used for what purpose this uh, uh, by uh, tuning fork is used it is used to produce certain frequencies if you see the tuning fork it is made up of, it is made for producing different vibrating uh, frequencies different frequencies it is produced okay so uh so if you want to produce some certain frequencies then what happens uh, that frequency tuning fork is used it is hit on the uh, to a rubber pad and then what happens the string uh, arms vibrates okay which produces the uh, desired uh, number of frequencies okay amount of frequency so for what purpose tuning fork is used it is used to produce sound of certain frequency okay so this was about the tuning fork now you will start this is a very important thing see sound needs a medium to propagate in light what you have studied light don't need any medium to propagate without medium also light can propagate as you have uh, know the sun moon stars all these are present in the vacuum but still you can see the light of the sun why because it don't need any medium to propagate sun moon stars all are emitting their light and that light reaches to our eyes also because from vacuum also light can pass uh, it can pass in our earth also okay in all medium it can pass but there is an uh, uh, exceptional case for this sound that sound cannot pass through vacuum okay this is very 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 important that sound cannot pass through vacuum but sound can pass through solid liquid and gas that is air in air also sound can propagate okay sound can propagate now here i am talking means in this room there is air air medium is there here okay i am talking means sound is propagating through the air medium and it is reaching towards you okay so what is this means here sound needs a medium to propagate now liquid also you know liquid uh, also sound can travel and in gas means in air medium also sound can travel but the optional cases here i have written it is very very important that sound cannot pass through the vacuum okay in vacuum you cannot hear any sound that's why when any astronaut or uh, if anyone is standing on the moon and if they are talking another person cannot hear because there is no atmosphere and there is no medium it's all vacuum over there and because of that sound don't get any medium to propagate and another person cannot hear the sound okay 
so here sound can travel through solid liquid gases that is air but not through vacuum it is very important the matter now what is the medium what is the meaning of medium now i have told you that it needs medium light uh, light no need of any medium for the light but sound needs a medium what is actually a medium okay it is a matter through which sound is transmitted okay is called the medium means something we need through that uh, sound should be transmitted okay a medium or a, uh, a matter or a substance anything that can pass or that can transmit the sound that is called as medium so here sound needs a medium to travel okay so uh, into next video you will study about the propagation of sound so if you have any doubt you can ask me thank you